5. Saadi of Shiraz It is hard to find words to approach a description of the achievement of the 13th century classical author Saadi. Western critics are amazed that Saadi could write The Orchard, Bustan, and The Rose Garden, Gulistan, the two great classics, in the space of two or three years. These major works, known to every Persian and regarded as supreme accomplishments, contain a richness of material and beauty of poetry which are almost unparalleled. Saadi was a man of no resources and spent most of his time as a wanderer on the face of the earth. He was instructed by the Sufi masters Gelani and Surawadi. In the case of the Rose Garden, Saadi has accomplished the feat, still not attained in any Western language, of writing a book which is so simple in vocabulary and structure that it is used as a first textbook for students of Persian and appears to contain only moralistic aphorisms and stories, while at the same time it is recognised by the most eminent Sufis as concealing the whole range of the deepest Sufi knowledge which can be committed to writing. The sense of wonderment at this achievement, when one sees the different levels of material interlocked in this manner, cannot be expressed. These two books are not only minds of quotations, proverbs and practical wisdom and texts of states of mind, they are written in such a way as to be accepted by the most bunkered of religious bigots. In this way did Saadi receive, shape and transmit the Sufi law. His choice of the format of classical literature ensured for all time the preservation and communication of his message. For nobody could ever cut Saadi out of Persian literature, and hence Sufism is protected in this manner. The following extracts are translated literally to show how the texts look to the ordinary reader. Pluck the cotton wool of heedlessness from the ear of awareness, so that the wisdom of dead men may reach your ear. The Door The unfortunate one is he who averts his head from this door, for he will not find another door. Jewels and Dust If a gem falls into mud, it is still valuable. If dust ascends to heaven, it remains valueless. The Day of Battle On the day of battle it is the slender horse, not the lumbering ox, that will be of use. The Alchemist and the Fool The alchemist dies in pain and frustration, while the fool finds treasure in a ruin. The Pearl a raindrop, dripping from a cloud, was ashamed when it saw the sea. Who am I where there is a sea, it said, when it saw itself with the eye of humility, a shell nurtured it in its embrace. Dominion Dominion of the world from end to end is worth less than a drip of blood upon the earth. The Thief and the Blanket a thief entered the house of a Sufi and found nothing there. As he was leaving, the dervish perceived his disappointment and threw him the blanket in which he was sleeping, so that he should not go away empty-handed. Learning None learned the art of archery from me, who did not make me, in the end, the target. The Unshaped One for one unshaped one in the community, the hearts of the wise will suffer pain, as if a pool had been filled with rose water and a dog fell in, polluting it. Scholars and Recluses Give money to the scholars so that they can study more. Give nothing to the recluses that they may remain recluses. The Scorpion A scorpion was asked, Why do you not come out in winter? It said, What treatment do I get in summer that I should go out in winter as well? Green wood can be bent. When it is dry, it is only straightened by fire. The Ark When Noah is the captain, what is there to fear? 
The Destiny of a Wolf Cub The destiny of a wolf cub is to become a wolf, even if it is reared among the sons of men. The Barren Tree No one throws a stone at a barren tree. Conceit He who has self-conceit in his head, do not imagine that he will ever hear the truth. The Straight Path I have never seen a man lost who was on a straight path. Cages When a parrot has been shut up with a crow, he thinks it a stroke of luck to get out of the cage. Butting You who play at butting with a ram, you'll soon see a broken head. A tree freshly rooted A tree freshly rooted may be pulled up by one man on his own. Give it time and it will not be moved, even with a crane. Doing good to the evil Merely doing good to the evil may be equivalent to doing evil to the good. Reward Child, look for no reward from A if you are working in the house of B. To know one's faults In the eyes of the wise, the seeker of combat with an elephant is not really brave. Brave is he who says nothing unbecoming in wrath. A lout abused a man who patiently said, O you of bright prospects, I am worse even than you say. I know all my faults while you do not know them. The Alternatives The sanctuary is in front of you and the thief is behind you. If you go on, you will win. If you sleep, you die. The Unfed Dervish When I see the poor dervish unfed, my own food is pain and poison to me. That building without a firm base, do not build it high, or if you do, be afraid. Asleep and Awake When a man's sleep is better than his waking, it is better that he should die. The Harvest you will know at the harvest that laziness is not planting. Relative A lamp has no rays at all in the face of the sun, and a high minaret even in the foothills of a mountain looks low. When you burn the woods, if you are wise, you will avoid the tigers. Information and Knowledge However much you study, you cannot know without action. A donkey laden with books is neither an intellectual nor a wise man. Empty of essence, what learning has he, whether upon him is firewood or book? The Elephant Keeper Make no friendship with an elephant keeper if you have no room to entertain an elephant. The Dervish Under a Vow of Solitude A dervish under a vow of solitude sat in a desert as a king passed with his retinue. Being in a special state of mind, he took no notice, not even raising his head as the procession passed. The king, emotionally overcome by his regal pretensions, was angry and said, These wearers of the patchwork robe are as impassive as animals, possessing neither politeness nor due humility. His vizier approached the dervish, saying, O oh, dervish, the sultan of the whole of the earth has just passed by you. Why did you not pay the required homage? The dervish answered, Let the sultan look for homage from those who seek to benefit from his goodwill. Tell him, too, that kings are created for the protection of their subjects. Subjects are not created for the service of kings. Safety and Riches Deep in the sea are riches beyond compare, 
but if you seek safety, it is on the shore. The Fox and the Camels A fox was seen running away in terror. Someone asked what was troubling it. The fox answered, They are taking camels for forced labour. Fool, he was told. The fate of camels has nothing to do with you, who do not even look like one. Silence, said the fox, for if an intriguer were to state that I was a camel, who would work for my release? Gold Coins Called Nobles He who has a purse full of gold has a place like the light of men's eyes. As the goldsmith's son so well put it, the noble is the man who has gold nobles. Talk The learned man who only talks will never penetrate to the inner heart of man. Disciples and Sages Disciples in power are less than children. Sages are like a firm wall. Fools have been endowed with such a provision that a hundred scholars would be amazed by it. Horse and Camel The Arab horse speeds fast. The camel plods slowly, but it goes by day and night. Where the Leopard May Lurk what may appear to you a group of bushes could well be a place wherein a leopard lurks. The Foundation of Tyranny The foundation of tyranny in the world was trifling at first. Everyone added to it until it attained its present magnitude. For the half-egg that the sultan considers right to take by force, his troops will put a thousand fowls on the spit. Personal Appearance Have the essential qualities of a dervish, then you can sport a Tartar Shako. If you cannot stand a sting If you cannot stand a sting, do not put your finger in a scorpion's nest. Ambition Ten dervishes can sleep beneath one blanket, but two kings cannot reign in one land. A devoted man will eat half his bread and give the other half to dervishes. A ruler may have a realm, but yet plot to overcome the world. The Danger of Ecstasy If a dervish remained in a state of ecstasy, he would be fragmented in both worlds. The Dervish and the Camel Rider when we were heading for southern Arabia, a barefooted and bareheaded dervish joined our caravan at Kufa in the north. I saw that he was penniless, but he strode along purposefully, reciting as he walked, Neither do I burden a camel, nor do I carry a camel's burden. Neither do I rule, nor am I ruled. Neither have I anxieties about the past, the present, or the future. Fully I breathe, fully I live life. A certain merchant mounted on a camel advised him to turn back. Otherwise, he said the dervish would certainly die of hardship and lack of nourishment. Ignoring this advice, the dervish marched on. When we reached Beni Hamoud Oasis, the merchant died. The dervish, standing by the bier, exclaimed, I did not die of my hardships, but you on your camel have died. Fools burn lamps during the day. At night, they wonder why they have no light. The Sick Man Throughout the long night, a man wept at the bedside of a sick man. When day dawned, the visitor was dead, and the patient was alive. The Dervish in Hell One night, a king dreamt that he saw a king in paradise and a dervish in hell. The dreamer exclaimed, What is the meaning of this? I should have thought that the positions would be reversed. A voice answered, The king is in heaven because he respected dervishes. The dervish is in hell because he compromised with kings. 
Heedless Man Whoever gives advice to a heedless man is himself in need of advice. The Poor Man's Yogurt If a poor man brings you a gift of yogurt, he will have bought it at such a price that it will be two parts water to one of real yogurt. The Tiger's Prey What can the tiger catch in the dark recesses of his own lair? The Fool and the Donkey A foolish man was raving at a donkey. It took no notice. A wiser man who was watching said, Idiot! The donkey will never learn your language. Better that you should observe silence and instead master the tongue of the donkey. The Road I fear that you will not reach Mecca, O nomad, for the road which you are following leads to Turkestan.